All right, so I'm continuing work on my airplane. Uh, a few weeks, probably two or three weeks has transpired since my last video. Um, normally when you're building the empennage kit, you start with the vertical stabilizer, you then move on to the rudder, you then uh, do the horizontal stabilizer, the elevators and trim tabs, and then work on the tail cone. Um, so I have finished now the uh, vertical stabilizer and I've finished processing most of the parts for the rudder. Uh, however, I've run into a few snags slash, uh, well, some of the things I want to do with this airplane, uh, specifically the rudder, I want to include a trim tab, and that's not part of the standard plans. So I have to kind of customize a trim tab that I put on the rudder. Uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to do that. So I'm kind of suspending work on the rudder until I have some of the parts I've ordered come in. I have a piano hinge, um, a servo motor, and things like that that I'm going to be using to make the trim tab. Um, I, so I've started work on the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, the last two weeks or so, I've been kind of processing parts for that, just basically uh, deburring, um, uh, some final drilling, actually most of the parts, all the parts, even the ones that are supposedly not final drilled, drilled seem to be final drilled, so I haven't done too much of that. Um, and I'm ready to kind of prime some of these parts and put them together. But last night when I was working on the horizontal stabler, stabilizer, I have one part that I partially needed to man manufacture out of angle iron, and I screwed it up. I cut some parts to an incorrect dimension, so I had to order some new parts for vans. So right now what I'm doing is I'm starting work on the elevator um, and basically pulling off blue plastic, uh, cutting some of the outside skin blue plastic off, uh, cutting off, taking off all of the inside blue plastic skin on the skins. Uh, and uh, just generally cutting, deburring parts, and processing them. Basically, uh, within two weeks or so, I'm going to have a whole bunch of parts ready to prime, and then I'm going to start assembling these suckers and put them together, and that's going to be fun. It's really fun when you get to actually rivet things together, even though at right now, for every rivet I seem to set, I have to drill out 100 rivets. Um, but so far, that hasn't caused any catastrophic problems, uh, just some headaches and a few swear words. Uh, so right now I'm going to finish process or keep working on some of the parts, basically processing them. When I say processing them, I mean deburring them and things like that. Uh, getting ready to prime. I'm going to at some point prime a whole bunch of parts and start putting things together. So right now for this video, it's mostly going to be a montage of me doing stuff in fast motion, like pulling off blue plastic, cutting parts, deburring parts, and things like that. So let's do that. So I just finished stripping off some of the uh, blue stuff from some of the skins. I've done it for the horizontal stabilizer as well as the elevators uh, outside skins. Um, I've only got a little bit of time left tonight before I need to go to sleep. And I think that I'm probably going to have to deburr these parts, so I might as well do that. Uh, there's a lot of holes on all of these things and a lot of edges, and I think that'll keep me busy for the rest of the night. So that's what I'm going to do, just deburr these skins and get them ready for uh, uh, painting and assembly and uh, you know, I swear building an airplane is 99% deburring. It really is. So I have finished uh, deburring and otherwise processing the exterior skins for both the horizontal stabilizer as well as the elevator. Um, and now I need to basically separate these uh, elevator ribs. Basically it involves cutting them in half like that uh, and eventually I'm going to uh, re-rivet them together. Um, and then I need to deburr these things. I also need to do the same thing with some shear clips, so I'm going to be using the uh, uh, bandsaw to do all that. Um, so yeah, that's the next, next uh, step in the process.
work on the elevator. Normally in the sequence, how this kind of works out is you, you make the uh, vertical stabilizer, then you make the rudder, then you make the horizontal stabilizer, and then you work on the elevator. Well, I've done the vertical stabilizer, and as far as the rudder goes, I'm still waiting on a few parts because I do want to add some rudder trim, and I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to go about doing that. Um, so while I'm still thinking about that, I started to work on the horizontal stabilizer, but then while cutting some parts out of angle iron, I screwed them up. So I need to order some new parts from Van so I can finish processing that, and then I can put together the horizontal stabilizer. Most of the other parts are ready to go. Um, so right now I'm pushing to get ahead with the uh, elevator. Uh, I've already kind of gotten the elevator ribs. They kind of came like this, so I separated them, deburred, did the usual smoothing out of stuff. And right now I'm uh, going to put together, probably for today, uh, put together the rib tips, um, which involves um, basically click going stuff together, which is fun because I get to see what a final part sort of looks like. Um, and right now I've just been deburring and processing parts and that's not as fun, or at least it's starting to feel a little old. I want to see something get made. So I'll get to click out some of these things together. Um, most of the stuff is already match drilled. I think all of it is in this case, but it needs to be final drilled. A lot of the parts in Van's new RV10 kits come final drilled, so you don't need to do a lot of that. But these particular parts here are not final drilled. So basically the, there's already existing holes, but they're a little bit too small. So I need to go through and kind of final drill them to the correct size. It'll also help align them up because these parts right here, I don't know if this is typical, but they're not lined up quite as well as a lot of the other parts that, uh, that I've worked with thus far. So that's it. Um, I'll probably end up doing some more stuff today. I do have ambitions to prime a lot of these parts. Um, that's another thing I'm sort of waiting on is to kind of get a whole bunch of parts that are processed and ready to prime before I mix up a batch of primer uh, and spray that on. Um, so I'm hoping to get to that today too, but right now, I'm going to put these rib tips together and uh, final drill them. finished clecoing together the uh, tip ribs or rib tips and uh, uh, it went together all right. Actually before I clecoed these suckers together I spent a lot of time trying to make all these holes line up. Um, these parts, particularly set of parts right here, don't seem to be fitting with quite the degree of precision that Vans parts normally do. Um, so because I need to final drill these things I want the parts to be as lined up as well as I could. So I spent a lot of time kind of bending things around and make sure the holes line up before I clecoed these together. And then I decided to Clico everything together by putting Clicos in every single hole because I want it to be held together as tightly as possible before I do the final drilling. Normally, I don't think you want to Clico, Clico every single hole. Uh, actually, I don't think you need to. Uh, you definitely don't want to if you want things to move any kind of uh, reasonable pace because it's going to take a lot longer to have to move these suckers around as I'm match drilling. Uh, normally, I think you Clico every other hole or something like that. Regardless, this particular instance, I wanted these parts to be held together as tightly as possible, so I click out every hole. Um, and now I need to final drill them. finished all the final drilling on the tip ribs. Um, so these are done for now. Uh, I kept one of them click out together. I de took all the click outs out of the other one, realized I think I need to uh, keep them in. So I re click out it together. Uh, anyway, now I need to bend some close out tabs on some of the outside skins for the elevator. And uh, just in general, keep on going through the steps in the manual.
now I finished deburring all the edges of the elevators. And my next step is I get to put together the elevators, kind of Clico everything together um, for, I was kind of wondering why the plans had me do that. Um, but I just completed doing this for the right elevator. Now I'm gonna do the left. And I basically, I need to match drill or final drill, well, both match drill and final drill some holes. Um, and the elevators need to be completely together for me to do this accurately. At least I think that's why I'm doing this. Um, anyway, so I need to put together the uh, left elevator now. Um, I'm going to final drill and match drill some of the holes that I need to. And I also need to uh, cut and put in the trailing edge. Um, so basically I'm getting everything fit and finished the way I need to. Uh, and so I can prime and then, you know, put it together. Uh, fortunately, I've got a few hours left tonight before I need to go to bed. Fortunately, my wife just left for her night shift. She's a labor and delivery nurse, which means finally I get to do something awesome instead of watch reruns of flea market flip and otherwise pay the price for marriage. So tonight I get to put together more on my airplane and I'm excited to do it. So I'm going to get started. Last step in the whole process is I had to trim off some of the edges of the trailing edge wedge. I think that's what you call it. Anyway, it had to kind of match up. So I cut it off, polished it up. Um, it fits perfectly, looks good. And I think now I have disassembled, or excuse me, match drilled or final drilled pretty much every hole that I need to. Um, so next step is to take it all apart. 
so that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find out later that I missed a spot, but I don't know. That'll just make the whole build a lot more fun. Anyway, I'm going to disassemble this thing. I've got my shop all cleaned up. I'm done for the evening. Probably gonna go and watch some TV show, thinking a documentary on Native Americans. I don't know, that sounds interesting to me right now. Um, so I'll continue working on this later, whenever I feel like it. Who knows when that'll be? It'll probably be tomorrow. <laughs>